I'm getting ready to film on my other channel this morning. We're going to do a skincare, how to make your skin look glowy. So that should be fun. If you're interested in that channel, it's called Living Life Over 50. So we do all things beauty, makeup, menopause, loneliness, part-time jobs for people over 50, all that stuff that we like as ladies over 50. Anyway, I'm using my favorite, favorite product here lately. I love Glow Recipe. I love all of their products. So this is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. So it's a little bit thicker than the Dew Drops, which I also love, the Watermelon Dew Drops. So I'm getting ready to do that, and I'm just having a little coffee this morning. I am wide awake this morning. I got really good restorative sleep. I mentioned to you before, I don't know how long ago it's been. It's probably been a good year, I would say, since I talked to you about Stellis, the sleep aid that I like to use. So I talked to you about this. For those of you who have been with me a while, you know I've talked about this a long time ago. You also know I can't swallow a pill. So what I do with these, I'll show this to you. This is why I slept through the night last night. If I take one of these, now the recommended dose is two of them. If I take one, I get that feeling like I drank a cup of chamomile tea and there was a nice breeze blowing over me with a little soft guitar in the background and I just kind of drift off to marshmallow clouds. That's what it feels like to me. Now, like I said, you can take two of these, but I don't. I don't need two of them. These are all natural and they're made in the U.S., which is really, really important to me. So they are constantly checking for any heavy metals, anything that shouldn't be in any product, but in these in particular. So I really like that. It's an FDA approved facility that they're kind of what would be the word that they create them in. So all those things to me, that actually matters. So let me tell you what I do. I just pull this open and I put it in applesauce because there's no way I'm swallowing this. You know this. So I just pull the capsule open and I dump it in applesauce and that's it. Like I said, two of these is the normal, but I don't, I don't need two of them because I don't want to like fall asleep hard at all. I do, which these don't. I've done two before when I'm having a really bad menopause night. I have done two before and it's completely fine. I never feel knocked out, but more so than that, one for me is the chamomile tea and marshmallows. So I have a really good special with these. This is why I wanted to show this to you because they reached out and they said, hey, you know, we haven't worked together in a while, which we haven't. And you know, the truth is because I suggest products that work for me when I need them. So they're offering my viewers a really good special. You can get a bottle of these for $15, which is just fantastic. So I'll leave all the details about it down below in the description box. So if you're like me and you need to feel relaxed, but you, you don't want to be, you know, you want to drift into sleep and be able to wake up in the morning. So also today we're going to be doing three recipes that you can meal prep with me. I'm changing my meal prep to Fridays. I usually do meal prep Monday, but I'm going to change it to Friday because I feel like if I'm meal prepped for the weekend, then I'll have a better weekend. I don't know why I always did it on Monday. I think because I was working all the time and I just needed to have that. But you know what? Usually for me, I will prep three things and everything else I kind of build into it because I like to have variation. You know, I don't like to do the same thing over and over and over. So I will prep three things that I can eat throughout the week that I really enjoy and then I add into that. So one of the things we're going to be doing is a really good tomato soup. Oh my gosh, it's so easy. You probably have everything that you need for it in your cupboards right now. So anyway, I'm going to drink a little bit more coffee, get this other video filmed, and then we are going in the kitchen and meal prepping. Today we're going to be making homemade tomato soup. It's kind of a rainy morning, so it's a perfect morning to make some delicious savory tomato soup. So let me show you the ingredients of what you're going to need. Now I'm taking inspiration from this cookbook. This is called 
Taste of Home Diabetes Family Friendly Cookbook. Just a little hint, if you're low carb like I am, I am not diabetic, but if you're low carb, diabetes cookbooks are great. You'll find a lot of great recipes in them, and they do tend to run a little bit lower carb and definitely balanced. So anytime I see a diabetic cookbook that looks interesting to me, I grab it. So we're gonna be taking some inspiration from one of the recipes in there. So let me tell you what you're going to need. You are gonna need two teaspoons of brown sugar. Now ideally, being low carb, you would wanna utilize the sugar-free brown sugar, but I am out of it. So we're gonna just go ahead and use the regular one. And like I said, we're only using two teaspoons, so I'm not super worried about that. You're gonna need some celery, about a half an onion. You can use a red onion or a white onion, either one. You're gonna need some garlic, salt, and pepper, two cans of 28 ounce tomatoes. Now I'm using what I have on hand. I've got these San Marzano style tomatoes and then also I have a big can of the puree. I already showed you the garlic. Did I show you the garlic? You do need some garlic if I forgot to mention that. And then I'm gonna use the Green Goddess seasoning, but the recipe calls for basil and oregano. I'm gonna use the Green Goddess because the recipe calls for oregano and basil, dry, both of them. I don't like oregano, so this will work for me. But like I said, the recipe calls for oregano and dried basil. And then you need just a little bit of olive oil. And that is everything other than water. So let's jump over to the stove and get working on this. All right, now before we head over to the stove, I have my teaspoon of olive oil in the pot warming up with two heaping tablespoons of minced garlic. So I've got my onion chop, the celery chop. Now we're ready to head over. We've got our garlic warming up here in the pot. Stir it around and get these vegetables working together and just get them softened up a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead over and grab my spices and we'll throw those in as well. All right, so we're gonna add in a little bit of pepper. Right now is when I like to do my seasonings. When we're warming everything up together, I feel like that that's the best to get the most out of your seasonings. Now I'm gonna say a couple tablespoons. So let's do, if you're doing basil and oregano, do one tablespoon of basil and one tablespoon of oregano, dry. So I'm just gonna do a couple of the green goddess. All right, we've got that warmed up a little bit. The oil should start to be coming out of our dried spices. That's why I like to get them nice and warm. And then I'm gonna go in with the water first. We're gonna do three cups of water. And we want to bring this to a boil. So this will go maybe five, six minutes and we'll bring it to a boil and then we'll kick it back and throw in our tomatoes. Now that we have that brought to a boil, let's add in our tomatoes. Okay. 
Now I'm going to kick this back to simmer and we're going to let this go about a half hour. Okay, it's been a little over a half hour. So we're going to go ahead and use our immersion stick. This is called a smart stick. Sometimes they're called immersion blenders. I'll link this one. I usually can find it on Amazon, so I'll link it below in the description. But all you're gonna do, I've got mine plugged in here, is push the button. Just be careful, because this is very, very hot. Just don't let it kind of splash all up. Perfect. All right, that tastes really good, but I definitely understand why they want me to add a little bit of brown sugar because we do have a little tiny bit of tinniness in there, which is kind of common if you've ever made homemade spaghetti sauce, you know what I'm talking about. You can get a little bit of a tinny sort of taste about it. All right, this is so good. <laughs> Good, I'm so happy with this. Okay, now you should get about eight to 10 half cup servings on this. Look at this, it's completely velvety and smooth. Now let me give you a couple options because this is a really good base recipe for you to do a lot of different things with. Now of course you could have it exactly the way that it is. You could also add a little bit of rice in here, so maybe a half a cup or, or so of rice would be wonderful. You could add a half a cup of pastina in here, just little pasta balls. You could add a little bit of heavy cream and turn this into a bisque. Once you have the basic recipe down, sky's the limit. So this is done. I think this is delicious, and I'm gonna have this tonight for dinner with a big salad. Now you see me do green vegetables all the time, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do something that isn't green. So we're gonna do carrots. We have 10 ounces of carrots here weighed out, and all you're gonna do, this is so easy, and like I said, you can do these in a freezer bag if you want to, to get them really, really tossed and coated. But since we're gonna air fry these right away, we'll just do them right here on the cutting board. So you can season with whatever flavor profile you like. You know how we feel about garlic in this family. It's the best of the best. You feel good. Yes, garlic is the best. So I've got garlic, salt, pepper, aglio olio. This is kind of like so, oh, that smells so good. Spicy Italian seasonings. So I get this at Trader Joe's, but let me give you the flavor profile so you know what's in it. Minced garlic, sea salt, parsley, red bell pepper, red chili pepper, and safflower. Saf How do you say this word? What? Safflower. Safflower. Does that sound like a word? Safflower nope. oil. That do, I don't know why that doesn't sound right. My mind wants to say sapphire. Safflower. I've never eaten that, I don't think. I probably have, I just don't know. But it's wonderful. And then some shallots. We have very little left of these air dried ground up shallots, so I'm going to get some new ones. You know what, let's talk through that while you're doing that. I don't know if you can see, Paige, wave your hand down there. Yeah, you probably can. So she's weighing out chicken. We're gonna air fry chicken. And I'm gonna show you how to make wraps with it. That's really, really good. I'm gonna, will you do me a favor and spray this mm -hmm. a little bit more? Now we all love olive oil, but of course, if you're gonna do something like air fry, you wanna raise the smoke point, so use avocado oil or something that's a little bit more hearty. 
All right, I'm going to add a little more seasoning to this, but I need to wash my hands off because they're coated. I'm going to just throw on a little more garlic, and then we'll pop these in the air fryer. I have a bunch of air fryers, as I always tell you. <laughs> I have so many air fryers. They're all over the house. And a co you know what? I'm going to be honest here. I will not say the name of the company. But a company sent me one. And I was going to review it. And you know, I always tell you guys, just because I have six air fryers doesn't mean you need six air fryers. <laughs> I am just showing them to you when they come in. And if you find one you like that I've shown you, then go for it. But I am in no world suggesting that you need six air fryers. Well, this company sent me another one. I was very excited about reviewing it, even though I have my favorite over here that we're going to use. And they got mad at me. Hold on, let me grab the basket and I will tell you the story here. All right, I can't use the basket. This is why you need six air fryers. I know. <laughs> You know what, I'm going to leave all that in while we're talking. Should I leave it in? <laughs> yeah, let's see why not. All right, so we have a basket that goes over this, but honestly, it's dirty. So I'm just going to use this. But here's what happened. So this other company, they sent me an air fryer. Or, yeah, they sent it. I have it. But we, we had talked about it, and I think I've mentioned this to you before. So, you know, we're transparent on this channel. I don't do that thing hardly ever where send me a product and I'll review it for free um, because number one, I just, you know, everybody expects to be paid for their work. That's the truth. Um, I don't need a, you know, I, I can't pay my electric bill with an air fryer. Okay, can we just put it that way? I cannot tell the water company listen, I can't pay you this month, but would you accept this air fryer for payment? So I just don't do that. So they send me this air fryer. We talked about pay, to be honest, and I told them I will try it out, and if I like it, then we'll sign the contract, and there you go. If I don't like it, then normally what happens is you keep the product and life goes on. Well, they change the contract four times. They kept changing the terms. I guess they thought I wasn't going to read it, but I did because, you know, that's just me. I, I read contracts for a living. And I ended up telling them, never mind. You know, I don't, as much as I liked the air fryer, I didn't want to review it because they came off as super shady. So they got mad at me and told me they wanted me to pay to send the air fryer back. Did I tell you that? Thing? <laughs> they wanted me to pay. And I was like, you know what? I said, listen, I'm not going to do that. And you do not want me to put this out there and let the whole world know how shady you're behaving. And then they went away. We'll see if they're gone. It's been about a week now, but I... I could not believe it. So anyway, I don't want to ruin their reputation because the air I really did like the air fryer. But because they kept putting sneaky, shady things in the contract, I was like, no, absolutely not. So I can't believe I, it's that one right up there, Paige. I know. On the, the, one, the one you don't want me to touch ever. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm mad at it now. So anyway, we're going to go to the old standby that I like, that I always call the printer. Let me get this off my hand. Oh, reliable? Yeah. And also, I have chicken strips going in the second air fryer. You do? Yes. Okay. But those are on a different yeah. outlet, so they're in the other room. Yeah, we've blown an air an, air, an outlet for the air fryer. Where you want me to put this on? All right, let me show them real quick. All right. So... Here they are. Um, Paige, let's put that on 425 for 15 minutes because you want it crispy, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go 420. Okay. You want to show them your new tattoo? Paige got a new tattoo. She's pretty excited about it. Well, we're sleeving it though. Yeah, she's going to do a sleeve. And show them this one. She's Mother gonna... has come a long way with the tattoos. Yeah, I don't like it. I, should... I know somebody's going to get mad at me. <laughs> I should say it like this. They're not for me. I don't care if you have them, but they're not for me. That's not bad to say, right? 
My own daughter has tattoos. They're just mm -hmm. not for me. On my own body, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, these are going to go about 15 minutes. All right, we're ready. Oh, look at these. You can imagine how garlicky these smell. Oh my gosh, these look great. So what you want to do from here is let them cool. That way they'll get a little bit crispy. And then you're ready to eat them. You don't have to heat them up or anything. Oh, these look really, really good. I'm going to show you how Paige does her chicken wraps and she's going to do a bunch of these so that she has them throughout the weekend for work. So low carb tortillas, whatever you like. So we're using these today, the carb counters. Um, but she set everything up on Carb Manager. She loves it. And don't forget, and she is the free version. We did a recipe this morning for a coffee that she makes it you know if you guys want to know her coffee i'm going to pop a picture of her coffee right here do i have a picture of your coffee i, I do don't try it. all right send it to me or you can film it before i because i'm going to make it for the road oh you know what you guys Paige just told me that she is going to make her what is the dupe it's a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso it is so good it is so good I'll give you the macros on it and before she leaves for work we'll include it in this video it's amazing she has it one to two times every day so anyway she's tracking everything in carb manager and she does have the free version so really awesome you can always use it on the um, PC as well on your home computer The air fried chicken is done. This is from the other air fryer. Let me pull this out so that doesn't fall out. Careful. That's what I got on nails. They look really good. You know what I was going to do with this bacon? Oh, yeah. Looks really good. So this is exactly how you would meal prep it, ready to go. So Paige is gonna measure hers out, the amount that she's gonna take with her today, and she's gonna take the little wrap separately. And like I showed you, she's gonna add in the buffalo sauce, and she measures that out as well too. So. That's a really good way to have something that you can do either for dinner or for lunch. All right, Paige is gonna show us exactly how to make her coffee, and I'm telling you, it is so good. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Can I talk loud light, enough for the- Two tablespoons of light brown sugar. Okay. Okay. And then to the Nespresso, this is a Chiaro double espresso. So you only need one of those? Yeah, because it's a double in there already. Okay. This machine is so cool because you don't have to do all the, you know, the thing of thingamajiggy deals where you have to put the grounds in, you know what I'm talking about. This actually just does the espresso shot for you. Did you get it on Amazon? Yes. All right, I'll, I'll link it on Amazon. Okay. And what is that you're using? Sugar-free vanilla syrup. Okay. And I think you can get that even at, we'll link everything. Amazon. Yeah, okay, Amazon, but I think sometimes I see that like at Gordman's. And I kind of eyeball Ross. the cinnamon. Okay. Then we wait. Okay, let me show them this. That smells so good. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. And that's a double shot, so if you wanted to, you could buy single shots. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to whisk it a little bit in here. All right. We'll link a whisk also. It's just a little battery operated Amazon. Pour it in. All right. And I'm going to. It smells so good. <laughs> Now, one thing you could do is instead of doing the brown sugar, we're only using two tablespoons of brown sugar, but you could also use sugar-free brown sugar if you want to. Mm -hmm. Pour that in. While that's going, we're going to do, while that's going, while that's cooling off. Okay. This one. No. Heavy whipping cream. This is for the cold foam. Okay. So I would say that's about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. To maybe a tablespoon of 2%. Okay. Okay, so just a splash of 2% milk. Now I wonder what do you have any idea why you oh and then a little splash of the sugar free to flavor the cold foam? Okay. I wonder why you mix the heavy cream and that the other the milk. I don't know why, but a lot of recipes say it's okay. Maybe it just lightens it up. Look at that, how good that works. Now this is for um, dad, so I'm not gonna do cinnamon. Okay. A little bit more cinnamon in. Yep. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna add Chobani extra creamer, extra creamy oat milk. Okay. Pour it on top. All About right. Four. We should probably be measuring that, and I would say that that's four ounces. Mm -hmm. So I would say a half a cup is what, about what you used. Oh, and then the cold foam. Oh my gosh, Paige. <laughs> You're gonna love it, Kevin. It is so <laughs> good. All right, now I wanna tell you, without the cold foam, we put this in Carb Manager, without the cold <laughs> foam, exactly like she made it, it was 158 calories. So, I thought that was really, really good. With the cold foam, it comes up about 100 calories. But it's, I'm just mixing it a little bit. It is so good. You want to taste it on camera, Kevin? Yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Good. Really good. Yeah. Really good. And it's espresso, so you'll be zooming downstairs. Yeah, that's really good. It's better than Starbucks, don't you think? That's outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding, guys.